Australian Ambassador to Laos John Williams hosts a well-attended reception, the Australian Annual Alumni Function, where he said, Australia is very committed to continuing to contribute to strengthening Lao human resources, noting also the high priority the Lao government attaches to education and training. Details with the news team Suksawan Keodabut and Manivan Duong Pachan. You'll notice the banners around the club tonight highlighting that 2014 is the 40th anniversary of Australia's relations with ASEAN. Australian Ambassador to Laos John Williams hosted the annual alumni function at the Australian Embassy in Vientiane on March 18th. You're also invaluable partners for us in working to add new depth to Australia Lao relations. Speaking at the Australian Annual Alumni Gathering, the Australian Ambassador to Laos has praised the contribution to Lao-Australian relations and Laos socio-economic development made by more than 1,000 Lao citizens who have studied in Australia under the Australia Awards Scholarship Program. The Ambassador said Australia is very committed to continuing to contribute to strengthening Laos human resources, noting also the high priority the Lao government attaches to education and training. Developing closer education and people-to-people -people ties between Laos and Australia is also consistent with the Australian government's recent Australia in the Asian Century Policy paper. Education for a long time and we uh of all the countries and donors that are working here, we're the, the, the coordinator, the, the chair of the working groups on education. So I think we're very proud of our program in education. We're still uh, doing a lot of work in basic education in trying to help the Lao government to improve access to education, and particularly for disadvantaged groups uh, in uh, remote areas. Uh, but also we continue with our very strong scholarships program uh, and uh, and uh, continuing to support uh, people at the tertiary level as well to get uh, to get a, a stronger education. A lot of work in teacher training as well. According to the Ambassador, Australian alumni were collectively one of the Lao PDR's greatest weapons in combating poverty and inequity. You look, I think we're really extremely proud of uh, the more than a thousand people in the Lao PDR that have studied in Australia uh, for their graduate degrees, postgraduate degrees, as part of the Australia Awards Scholarship Program. We're very proud of them for two reasons. They're making, across the board, they're making an enormous contribution to the Lao PDR and its future economic development. That's, that's number one, whether they're working in business or in government or in the NGO sector, they're doing a really important work for, uh, for the Lao PDR. And as you move around the evening tonight you'll, and meet some of these people, you realise they're very, very good quality people that are very high achievers um, and it's a source of pride too that uh, an Australian education has helped them reach their potential. So they're a great advertisement for us in terms of the quality of education in Australia. But the other reason why we're proud is that these alumni, these people, they understand Australia better than, than other people in the Lao PDR and so they're really important allies for us in terms of explaining Australia, contemporary Australia to people in the Lao PDR and that's really important for us in terms of trying to strengthen links between the governments and the people of Australia and the Lao PDR. He said he is delighted to Australian alumni, Salom Sai Komasit and Tipakorn Jantavongsa, were last week promoted to serve as Deputy Ministers for Foreign Affairs and Finance respectively. I study in Australia from uh, 96 to, to 98, so to 97, it was two years program of master, a major in international relations and uh, of course I graduated in 1997 and then returned home and rejoined the foreign ministry. My name is Mook, I'm, uh, I studied uh, at uh, IMIT in Melbourne. Uh, what I did was uh, business computing as the business information system and then I graduated from universities in 2003, in 2003 and got back here in 2000, the beginning of 2004, yes, uh, from IMIT. I'm Pit Lampan Yarganigi. I graduated Master in Business Administration from Curtin University in 2008. Uh, at the moment, I've been uh, working as a freelance and also runs my own consultants companies. We very much uh, specialize in soft skills training. Um, my name is Vanna Poan Sitilat. 
Uh, I am one of the Australian Award alumni. Um, I got scholarship twice actually. First in 2000, I went to study uh, diploma in film and television and then after that I came back to work and then in, in 2007 I applied for uh, the scholarship again but I study, I went to study a master degree in um, journalism and mass communication. Okay, good evening. My name is Sampon Siavong. Uh, I'm a graduate from the University of New South Wales uh, at Sydney. So I was a graduate in 1994, and my ta uh, majoring in uh, electrical engineering. Well, after I graduated from the University of the New South Wales, I worked at uh, Department of Civil Aviation at the Directors of Aerodrome and Security Divisions. What is most satisfying, however, is the outstanding careers these alumni have built on their return to Laos. Many are now working at the front lines of the Lao government's economic development agenda whether in government, aid organizations, or in the private sector. My major was international relations. Of course, it was very useful because I work in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, which is in which I can apply all the lessons, all the theory that I study in Australia to the work uh, in my career. Because as, as, as a diplomat working in a foreign service, we have to understand international law, we have to understand international relations, and how diplomats, how diplomacy is working in the international arena. So it was very useful, and I applied a lot what I have learned from Monash University, where I studied for two years in Australia. The, the course that I did in uh, RMIT in Melbourne was uh, business computing and what I am doing today is uh, doing business. It's a combination of the real life experience and, uh, and formal quali qualifications of, uh, of uh, my, my graduation. The, the study that I did uh, has helped me in, in many ways uh, in, in which uh, it helped me setting up a proper system for the business and it helped me uh, prepare for the future growth of my business, which now has been eight years that I come back and, and I've been uh, uh, doing uh, six or seven kind of business now, up to today. And all of this is actually because of, um, of the, the knowledge that I gained at the university uh, in Australia. And of course, uh, this, this uh, scholarship had, had built me, had made me, uh, who I am today. So thanks to the, uh, the, the Australian government and the Australian Embassy here and of course Vientiane College as well who've been uh, uh, putting up with, with, with me and with uh, those who, who got a scholarship for, for, for a very long time. And uh, I, I, I believe that uh, um, the effort that uh, they all put in there uh, to us uh, has been paid off. Um, when I first came back from Australia, uh, after I did my course in film and television production, I came back and worked for Lao National Television to do um, news in English program. And I also, at the same time, I also got a chance to work for a production company. I produce um, a, a, a magazine TV program doing documentaries on cross-border issues. Um, that we got really feedback from that, and after that, I also work as a freelance, uh, a freelance documentary filmmaker, doing documentary on a number of uh, of social issues, social and cultural issues in Laos, um, uh, such as um, human trafficking, um, migration, gender, um, and environmental issue also, and. And because I always believe that um, media is a, is a good tool for communication and also it helps uh, to raise awareness and um, to raise awareness on so many um, problems and issues in Laos. Yeah. The knowledge that I learned from the university uh, co contributes uh, to my job a lot. Uh, since I have uh, graduated from that university, I can upgrade it, enhance my tasks in uh, developing and the civil aviation sector. The large cadre of Australian alumni in the Lao PDR were a major asset for bilateral relations between the two countries. We're about to launch a major new program in education uh, over the next four years. Hopefully we'll be announcing, we'll be starting that uh, later this year. And again it'll be hopefully 
helping the Lao PDR achieve its MDG goals in education, particularly in terms of universal access for primary education and raising the standard of uh, education through teacher training and support and other programs to keep children in school. John Williams said 2014, as the year of the 40th anniversary of ASEAN-Australia relations, presented a good opportunity to reflect on the significant positive impact of Australia's long-standing support for human resource development in Southeast Asia. Around 160 alumni, Australian volunteers and Australian education and aid representatives attended the event. Australian Alumni Club Facebook group which is closed um, only for the uh, Australian returnees. A representative from the Lao Australia Alumni Club highlighted the club's work to support primary education by providing books to primary school children and its professional learning support for alumni. Uh, Adelaide, yes, <laughs> it's nice. 